Hi everyone, it's um, it's me, my name's Shirley Joffy, and today I'm, I am very excited to go live for you um, and going through some tips on how to start living your life in the flow every day. So I'm just going to wait to see, hi Elodie, we'll just wait for a few people to come online. It, very unusually, I've actually given you notice today for my for the live. <laughs> Not very often do I give you notice. I do tend to just um, get on on the fly. <laughs> How are you, Elodie? So I'm super excited today because this live precedes a free webinar that I'm doing tomorrow evening. If you've not actually signed up for that, um, you can do that. And you can also, if you can't get on in the evening, you can actually watch the replay and get the same energy clearings that we do on the live. On the replay so same as this if you're watching the replay um you'll you'll get the same information so we're sending out the info all the time the um, i'm sending out the energy all the time um if you're wondering what i've got in my hand i've actually got a beautiful crystal one hi gozzy i've got a beautiful crystal one so those of you know me know that i'm into my magic and uh, very practical magic but i do i do have little little bits and bobs um like one of these is one of them is my my um, healing wand, and actually when you trace the um, chakra symbols onto your palms and the energy symbols, it really activates. Hi Jana, the other thing which I love to to hold on to is my um, guardian angel worry stone. So I've got lots of little little knickknacks on my desk, um, and today I'm actually I'm feeling really free because I've got my desk set on standing desk. I don't normally have my guess, my desk on stand desk. Thanks, guys. <laughs> um, I'm usually sitting and I'm bobbing because I've got um, a Swiss ball. I sit on a ball. Um, but today I thought I would actually stand up for you. So I'd love to get going. So we're going to talk about, I'm going to start with just three tips today on living your life in flow. Yes, yeah, standing. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Um, and tip number one da, 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 is to, you'll notice I'm quite hyper. I've actually just done a whole gym session and a meditation. And I've also done a, uh, the meditation I did is actually a bringing heaven down into your body and earth energy up into your body and spreading with love and all the cells opening up. It's just amazing. So I'm, I'm actually on a real high at the moment. And uh, so you're getting all the energy. <laughs> So first thing to have your life in flow might not be what you think. And that is for me is to get some clarity. So if you do not know what you want to create, you will not be able to create it. Hi, Melinda. Hi, Mel. Hi, Doug. Yeah. So for example, if you are just, hi, Maria, if you are just rolling along with whatever's going on, then you will be at the mercy of other people's creations. Get that in. If other people are doing that creating and you have not got a clear vision for yourself, you will be following their energy. Now, living in flow is not doing nothing. It is actually taking aligned and awareness action. So the first thing you need to do is actually be very, very clear what you want. And one of the things which I tend to do is I write out, um, I'm not talking about like um, resolutions and goals and things, but I write out what I want for my life. How do I want my life to look like? How does a perfect ideal day look like for me? What would it take? So, for example, this morning I've got up. Um, I've actually uh, started my morning recently. I will do my meditation, my very first meditation in bed, because I noticed that I'm actually getting up a little bit later with the time change. And I really love to spend time with my kids. So I will do my initial connection and awareness in bed. I only do about 10 minutes. And then I spend time with my children because I would like to connect with them on a daily basis. That's one of my things that I want my day to look like. I then go to the gym or I go to a class or I do some exercise and I actually follow the exercise with meditation. So I've actually done a bit of rejigging. 
what I was doing in the summer when it was really, really um, bright every morning is I was doing all my meditation first thing. But you know what? It's your life. You decide what you want to do. And as long as you get the things that are important in at the beginning of the day, that beginning of the day is the most important thing for you. So getting your nutrition in, getting your, your connection to, to the energy around you and getting your body moving are really, really important. So I was very clear this is what I wanted to do. And then coming back, I've got all my business stuff and I have a schedule. So you'll notice if I just look down there, I've actually done, um, I've got a planner here. And this is something which I hadn't done for years. So in the corporate world, and any time when you're setting up projects or businesses, you always have a plan. So I've set up my plan. Because what I was doing is I was manifesting, 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 and packing it all in, and then just getting really, really, really tired. And that's not flow. That is just loads and loads of action without any peace, any time to feel for yourself. So I, I put together a yearly plan where now also it stops me being at the mercy of others. So when someone comes to me and there's something that they want me to do with them or something that looks really, really interesting to me, like I love courses, I love new things, I now have somewhere to look to say, no, hang on a second, in these three months, I have got this going on. So I am very much more um, careful and more aligned and more precise, accurate with what goes in where. And that's super important. So what happens if you're trying to get clarity and you end up being very confused, very foggy, you're not sure? So my, my tip for you, apart from, you know, obviously doing the clearing around what's holding you back, but practical tip is to write down what an ideal day would look like for you. You'll very soon realize the things that you are doing that do not fit and that are completely out of alignment for you. Um, so that's that, that was all number one. <laughs> number two is declare what you want. So once you've written it out, start meditating on it. Start using manifesting meditations. You are needing to, you need to declare that to the universe, to the energy of all around. It's your game. It's your life. You get one. So it's super important for you to declare, this is what I will have. This is what I'm having. This is what I desire. And this is what I am right now. At the same time as declaring it, and I'm putting two together here, is be super grateful for what you have right now. You're declaring what you desire. Declare what you have and be super grateful for it. That energy, that vibration will attract everything else to you. It's, it's impossible for it not to. It's like a big, huge magnet. And the more grateful you are, and the more joyful you are, the bigger that magnet is, and it will just keep drawing those things in. And you will start feeling like your life is moving in a beautiful way. You still with me? Can I have some love? Any questions? Please feel free to type in the comments if you've got any questions as, what I'm, as I'm going along. Love to hear from you. So any questions on getting clarity or how to declare it? Everyone okay, cool. Let's move on real quick. I'm gonna keep this, um, I'm gonna try and keep this under 15 minutes. So you can go about your day and carry on living your day in flow because I don't wanna hold you up. So lastly, once you have got your clarity, once you have declared what you are having, also Melody, make it non-negotiable. So you've declared it, but it's easy then for, for many people to just let day-to-day -day life get in the way. So once you've declared it, put it somewhere where you can see it. How do you make it non-negotiable? 
there are several ways. I'm going to go through many of those on the free webinar. I don't have lots of time to go through those today. Um, but making that non-negotiable is super important. If you allow things to get in your way, if you allow other people to decide how your time is spent and in what state your time is spent. Because I understand and I know that there are things that we need to do every day. I need to make sure my children are fed and I want to love them. That might not be on my non-negotiable list um, from the perspective of say, you know, my life purpose, for example, but it's still on my ideal life list. So while I'm doing those things, you know, kids, you know, they get young. My, my, I've got, um, I've got a six year old, an eight year old and an 11 year old. So my six year old does not listen to a word anyone says. She has got her own mind and I love that. My eight year old hypersensitive and my 11 year old is going through hormones. So sometimes the time that I'm spending with them mm, can be a bit trying. So at that point, yes, I can, I slip back into the human stuff, but equally, um, what I choose to do is in that particular moment, I remember that that's the moment that I've got. It is that moment that's important. Not thinking about what I'm doing five or 10 minutes later, not thinking about half an hour later when I'm doing a, a live, not thinking about an hour later when I've got a session. It is that moment that's important. And that's how you keep in flow because you are sitting with the present moment with that awareness. For myself, I remind myself because I've got pictures of them as babies on the wall. I remind myself that that time flies past. It won't be long before those little arms are bigger adult arms. It won't be long before the voices change from child voices to adult voices. And it may not be long, although my 11 year old still cuddles, it may not be long before they don't want to cuddle and they don't want to hug and pile all over the sofa. I hope that never ends because that's like the joy and the bliss of my day. But that moment is important. And however they're feeling, I tune in and I see what I can do. And it might just be just being there, just being that hug. Mm. Yeah, so Jane, I'm gonna come back to that in a minute. Um, yeah, so just being with them present. And that's so, so, so important. So those are the three tips. So putting those together, once you've got the clarity, once you've declared it to the universe, and once you've made it non-negotiable, it's up to you to take action. Now, taking action, again, I look at it in a very different way nowadays. I used to push, 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 push. It used to be, um, I need to do this, 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 and this, and this, and this action to get to my goal. It was very cognitive. It was very conscious. I would write it down, I'm, I'm lists, I mean, look, 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 this is my, this is my list for today. So not very long, but it didn't used to be like that. I used to have lists everywhere in the house. Um, everything was super organized. I'm still pretty organized, but I've re released a lot of that. So in order to live the life in flow every day, what I do is I write down no more than three things that I want to achieve by the end of the day and I make them small so for example one of my things that's non-negotiable is to make sure I've got my morning routine that is meditate exercise and um, yeah, meditate exercise and morning nutrition <laughs> because nutrition I'm actually still getting to grips with I have I'm one of those people that you know people say I forget to eat yeah I get into the amazement of life and I forget I've actually got a human body and I forget to eat so it's not because I don't love food because I adore food so then I don't eat all day get a headache and then like eat in the evening so this is one of the things that's my that's my um, goals to change at the moment and sometimes it's just taking an easy way out an easy way out for me is I've, I'm um, testing a plant-based natural 
smoothie thing that's nice and easy so i can just literally just put it in whiz it up and drink it and i've got my nutrition i know it's natural and i know it's plant-based so that that's just me so that's the first thing that is non-negotiable for me on my list on my to-do list i may also have a business goal so for example for today i have set up a business goal that has to be done which is to get my event structure sorted that has to be done by the end of the day everything else is by the by of course i have a schedule of what i'm doing for my business but that's a specific goal for today for me and then third third one for me for today is to just connect with the kids and actually to do something for me and the something for me today is to go and sing in choir this evening so you'll notice those goals are not like really really major stressful goals they're actually very joyful goals and when i do my ideal day they all fit in they are something that are going to produce joy and love and happiness and passion I know if I do these, everything else will, will go, will work. And in the meanwhile, one thing which I also should mention is build in your rest. I'm 16 minutes, I'm just checking the time. Um, build in your rest, guys, whatever that rest looks like for you. Because remember, you're a human being, not a human doing. Again, this is something that I keep learning. It's one of my... One of my lessons I, be, I believe because I've got lots and lots of energy sometimes and I just want to give to the world so Jane you mentioned how to get to that space of number one first held back by yeah so um, this is something actually that I did as a meditation on my business page a while back it's called life purpose and it connects you up to find out a bit more about what you want but practically jane the first thing i would suggest you do is start writing down what an ideal day looks like for you because once you start to write that down and you cross things off that wouldn't equate to an ideal day you will start to notice what actually is important to you and then once you've started to get that, you'll get awarenesses of what feelings that brings up. So, for example, if an ideal day for you looks like um, getting up in beautiful surroundings, um, having breakfast brought to you in bed, doing some meditation, doing some yoga, going and, and helping a load of people, not a day that is governed by what you have to do now, but an ideal day. You're, what you're looking for is what values are you serving in that ideal day? So are you looking for connection with people? Is that something that rates high on your, on your ideal day? Are you looking for the love feeling? Are you looking for the connection with the earth, with nature? Are you looking for excitement and adventure? All of those things will underlie what's in your ideal day. And those are the things you're looking for. And then once you tap into those, that's when you can start to notice if there are fears holding you back. Um, and sometimes it's like completely irrational stuff. So I might think my ideal day is to do like webinars and be in front of loads of people. And then I tune into it. And yes, it feels amazing. And then there's this little like ball of anxiety, for example, in the pit of my stomach. When I tune into that, that might be something that is an event that happened to me when I was young. I can lift that with healing. Or, or it might even be something from generations back. It might be that it is the voice of your, your mom or your family saying it's not safe. You know, if you do this, you'll be persecuted. If you do this, you'll be ousted. If you do this, you'll be attacked. All of these things are what we work on in the private healing sessions. And I'll also be working on a lot of these in the webinar tomorrow night. So there are certain um, streams of feelings and themes 
that go through to stopping you living in flow. So, gone to 20 minutes. <laughs> Eventually one day I'll do 15. For, to, to end, I'd just like to let you know that the, I'm gonna put the link for the live webinar um, under this post, you'll be able to do that. And throughout this entire month, the webinars I'm doing are actually leading up to a live event that I'm doing. So that is on the 30th of November. And if you are in the UK, if you are close to London, please join me because we will be doing a lot of this in much more depth and getting you all the way to the point of creation and actualizing. That's bringing it into reality of that, that living life in flow, that ideal life for you. So there'll be lots of themes over the next couple of weeks to help you clear all of that. And um, tomorrow evening in the webinar, I've got some super amazing offers for you as well. So lots of giveaways. Uh, just bear in mind, you don't have to join live. If you register, you will get the recording sent to you. So please, please do yourself a favor, just register, you'll get the recording, and then you'll also get the energy clearings. And tomorrow I'm planning on doing a, um, not just clearings, I'm gonna do a meditation. Yeah, blocks to flow, definitely. So we'll be doing that. Okay, Jane? Hey, Colin, you're joining me on the end, end of it. Um, you can watch some replay though. So guys, any questions before I nip off? No. Nah. You can always PM me, guys, or put the questions in the comments. I'll be checking back and I'll respond as well. But I hope to see lots of you on the webinar tomorrow night and have a, an, an absolutely amazing day. And, uh, yeah, living life in the flow. Bye, guys.